typical reverse engineering job in 3D Systems Geomagic Design X. In this example, we'll create a parametric solid model similar to what would be used inside a pump housing. After we scan the part, we have a mesh model of the impeller. To build the CAD model, we start by using DesignX Automatic Feature Recognition Tool, Auto Segmentation. The software detects the different features of the part and displays them as differently colored regions. From here, we'll approach the reverse engineering process just like we would design this part in any CAD software. Let's start with the hub. DesignX automatically extracts the profile of the hub and then we sketch on the profile. DesignX handles the work of making sure it's accurate by snapping to the scan data. We can even see the deviation of the sketch to the scan so we can decide how to balance the accuracy with achieving the design intent of the part. Once the sketch is made, we perform a revolve based on the center axis that DesignX also calculated for us. Now that we have the hub designed, let's move on to the veins. Normally, creating complex surface geometry for the leading and trailing sides of the veins takes painstaking creation of splines and lofted surfaces. Not with Design X. Just a few clicks and the loft wizard takes care of everything. Next, we need to extract the outer profile of the veins. So we'll follow the same process used to design the hub. Once we have our sketch made, we'll revolve the surface which we'll use to trim back the veins. Finally, we'll pattern all the veins around the center axis and boolean all of our features together into one single solid model. We'll add some fillets using Design X's Magic Wand tool, which calculates the fillet radius for us automatically. Now we have a complete parametric solid model inside Design X. Before we finish, we'll check the accuracy of our CAD model back to the original scan data. If anything is out of tolerance, we can just go back and edit the feature and everything will update automatically. If we want to open the model in our native CAD software, we use DesignX's live transfer function to transfer the entire feature tree over. DesignX supports live transfer to SOLIDWORKS, Inventor, NX, and Creo. And DesignX can also send non-feature tree models to AutoCAD, Solid Edge, and Katia. In this example, we'll transfer the impeller over to SolidWorks. DesignX communicates directly with the CAD software and sends over each feature in the feature tree. It's like watching your design process in Fast Forward. The CAD software will rebuild the model feature by feature based on the history tree we created in DesignX. There's no need for manual transfer or rearranging features. Sometimes the features won't build correctly in the CAD software. So DesignX pauses the transfer process so we can ensure the feature will work after the transfer. We'll work through some of these incompatible features and when we're done, we'll have a complete native solid model that is fully editable inside SolidWorks, Inventor, NX, and Creo. Once the transfer is complete, I now have a fully prismatic, editable tree inside my native CAD package. <laughs>